Right, so today we're doing a review of Vincenzo Iaquinta and looking at his attributes on the surface, this man can make an absolutely incredible striker. Firstly, as always, we go with the standout attributes and it's just me, but I'm noticing that 20 strength. And not just 20 strength, 17 acceleration and 15 pace. And plus 18 jumping reach. This man is a physical beast of a striker. A physical beast. 19 balance too. He's virtually the perfect target man. And if, if his physicals weren't enough to prove that to you, look at these technicals. 17 heading, 17 long shots, 17 finishing. I mean, you don't find a better target man in this game. Just to drive home my point, let's look here at uh, the target man desired attributes. 15 anticipation. Obviously, we'll come to his shortcomings in a moment. But if you look at these physicals right here, that is perfection. This is perfection. This is perfection. Like, oh, what a player this man can be in this game. And we're going to find out how his, uh, the next five seasons went from. But obviously, whilst looking at these incredible positives, his shortcomings must be made aware of. And you can see here, he has 11 composure and 9 first touch, which I do believe are his perhaps biggest flaws or the will they actually make a difference in high performance in game we'll find out but obviously there was not ideal you know he's 26 he's not going to develop anymore in the game Eleven composure that's not great especially in high press situations nine first touch really not ideal but then again i really do believe his stronger attributes here make up for it i think i think they're insane absolutely insane and we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're about to find out just how well he did. <laughs> so straight away we can see that his attributes have actually remained largely the same, which is fantastic considering he's now 31. He's also stayed at Udinese, and as you can see here in the on the side, he's got quite a good record. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Um, but other than that, you know, a career milestone he's achieved the Coppa Italia and the UEFA Nations League with Italy. So overall, I'd say he's probably done pretty well. But uh, we'll have a look just now. Career stats. Wow, I, I gotta say, I, I do find that pretty good. First season, he starts out with a 21 goals in 31 games. Virtually a 2 and 3 record in the league. That is really darn solid. 8, eight play, of the play of the matches, which shows how influential he was to the team. And a 7.52 rating, which was actually his best average rating from all of his seasons. So, you know, if you're starting this game out in your first season and you need a striker... So far, this guy seems to be your man. I mean, looking forward, the next season, he improved, he played more games, and he achieved more goals in doing so. Again, it's a really, really solid record. 23 goals. Wow. I mean, his next season was, of course, the slightly weaker one. He's got clearly a much lower average rating, but still a really good average rating. Uh, and obviously, um, seven less goals, which isn't ideal. But that's still a solid record, especially when you consider the fact that Udinese aren't really that good. Even in this game back in 6 or 7, obviously they had Di Natale, but, you know, you're looking at a really mid-table Italian side, and and he's doing this well for them. And again, it, it doesn't even get worse. He improves upon that third season, coming out with 19 goals. And again, an improved average rating, a whole load more assists. Clearly, he's added something to his game, or maybe a tactical formation shift. But this man, he, <laughs> it's a really strong, consistent record. As you can see here from the fifth season, in which he turns 31, 20 goals, he's reached that uh, 20 goal figure mark again, like he did in the first two seasons, and this, as I said, is the pinnacle of consistency at the top level in Serie A, which in this game, it must be said, is probably one of the strongest leagues, considering the uh, sheer quality of players in teams like Milan, Inter and Juventus, so, wow, it's a really solid review overall for Jacqueline there, he, he's done absolutely insane in this game and in this save so generally if you're doing a a save on this database by the mad scientist get on this man get on this man so yeah the link to the database will be in the description thank you